Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to the Plaid Sheep Oracle. This is a general reading for you. I intend my readings to be timeless, not anchored to any particular date, but they are informed by the energies in which I'm reading. So you, I think, Sagittarius, are having a hard time. I think that you feel really anchored and not in a good way. This underlying is the magician and he could be, right? Sometimes he's a powerful figure or a mystical figure, but today he just sort of looks pissed. Like he's asked a question and he has not gotten the answer that he wanted. And he's sort of looking at the person who gave him the answer like, really, really? Um, underneath him is this five of fire and she kind of has the same look today. <clears throat> like she's, she's bored, she's just totally had it. And then she's gotten this answer and it's like, really? And I think that part of the issue is a dichotomy that you're having, a push and pull. And I am filming this in August of 2022, the last two years have kind of been about that with a long period of stuckness and Sagittarius you you do not enjoy the stuckness and the stillness you've got these three winged cards the king of air the hierophant who is a an earthy card but in this deck she has these wings and then justice. And I don't see her at this moment, she's not really about fairness or, or justice. She is just about these wings that she's got going. There's this urge, this desire, this craving, perhaps. This uh, need to move, to go, to travel somewhere. To get somewhere. And in resistance to this, firstly, we have the moon, mystery, the unknown, um, perhaps an inability to know where to go or what to do, or questions being unanswered, or just a general feeling of confusion. You may be feeling a little crazy, like you don't know which way is up. And then the next piece of resistance is this five of earth, left out, isolated, grown over. Sometimes I see her, right, as really learning about her embodiment, coming into connection with earth. But here, now, she looks grown over. Like she's been standing there for a really long time and the greenery has just started to grow on and over her. And then we have this chariot, but right, it's not moving. Right, this one horse is kind of looking off to the side. She's also looking a little bored or a little pissy today. Like either she's stuck in traffic or there's something wrong with the lights or there's something wrong with the chariot. She's waiting for a part <clears throat> before she can go. But she is not pleased and she's not going anywhere. And this next underlying 
which says uh, empathic star seed, Ooh. energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. Um, I think it's only partly about that. I think a lot of it is just this image, right? There's this apparent doorway, but it isn't really a doorway, it's a mirror. It's solid glass, you can't actually go through it. And I think that although, right, this is your reading, Sagittarius, I think that there are a great many people who feel this way. And if you, if this is the, the thoughts, the vibrations that are uh, consuming you, that are filling your days, then you're gonna attract more of those thoughts. You're gonna really feel everybody else who's thinking in the same way. There will be an amplification of this feeling for you because you're not alone and you're attracting more of it. So next we have this Loosen Your Grip card. And right underneath it, this fledgling card. So this sense of falling. And that may be another dichotomy for you, Sagittarius, that while you feel stuck, there may also be this sense of being out of control, of falling to who knows where. You may be trying to see the big picture. It says big picture thinking, Pleiades energy, visionary inspired ideas. Um, you may be trying to think this way, to try and look outward, to look to the future. Uh, you may even be getting a little control freaky um, Virgo is square, Sagittarius. So Virgo energy may be challenging. There may be a sense of wanting to control, to micromanage what's happening. If you're not getting the answers that you want. And you're here looking out, looking out at this vision. Is this where I want to go? Where do I want to go? Where, how do I get there? Why am I not moving? Usually it's so easy for me to move. Sagittarius is mutable energy, fire, mutable fire. Able to travel to all sorts of places. but not in this moment. This other place just seems like a mirage now. You are feeling the stuckness is so uncomfortable that I think you're actually hoping for a tower moment. I think you would really like one just to shake things up. There may even be part of you in your mind that's calling for a tower moment. And this is a particularly chaotic tower image. It's a little hard to tell what's going on here. What are all of these red branches. Are they branches of a tree that's growing up? Are they some sort of monster? What's going on? But even that feels preferable than this stuckness that you've got going. And 
Now we come a little bit to Spirit's answer. And I suspect you're not going to like it, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. And the answer is that you're looking in the wrong place, Sagittarius. You are, right, waiting for the phone to ring. You are looking for a message from outside, something, a goal that's been presented to you, a path that's being presented to you. You're waiting. But in fact, You're being asked to just listen to yourself. This Six of Swords um, is particularly meditative. Right? There's this marvelous peacock, a mystical creature that's carrying you somewhere in your mind. This is not getting on a boat. It's not getting on a plane or anywhere else. This is a journey within your own psyche, your own mind. It is here in your own mind that you can be lifted off, that the sense of being um, consumed by the earth rather than supported. That lifts off here. It's within. The Bifrost is the rainbow bridge that leads to the realm of the gods, to Asgard. The way home. That's really it, Sagittarius, I think. All of this searching this looking for something, some goal, some answer, some place to go is a search for home. At least now at this time. There may be other times when the search is for something else, but here now in this space, in this reading for you, this desire to lift off this desire for freedom, for movement, for a goal, for some place to point your arrow, for a target. Right? These arrows, right, they point both ways. The target is within you. That's what the search is now. And the underlying on the rune deck is this cradle card that sort of reaffirms this for me. Not that you need to go back to your childhood or uh, necessarily, but that you're coming back home, that the home is within. So I know this is kind of, right, it's an annoying message, look within for your answers. And believe me, I know I, I as an Aries son, my desire is to move outward often, to go somewhere. 
to have an outside space, some place to go. So I asked for some advice for you. And it's not actually very much different than I've already said, but I'm going to show you. So you know that it's being emphasized. So there's this three of materials first. And to me, um, right, this, this braiding, this collaboration is an internal one, right? There is a road forward, but it's an internal collaboration that's required. And then the moon again, but this time, once more, there are three figures again. Collaboration around emotion. And then the six voices. I sometimes see this figure as spirit, um, but I think this is really not an external, right? Not your spirit fellowship that's outside of you, but your own wider self. The piece of the all that is, that is you. The stream that is you. That is where the answer lies. And then, yeah, in the heart. And in the sacrum. Right, there's this, this mysterious place here in the sacrum. And that is creativity, but it's also maybe history. It's about things we often don't talk about, like sex. And our sexual desires and our, how they meld with our creative desires how they are part of who we are, how they are connected to the heart space. These are where the answers lie. And then we end with the flower road. You have to, you have to go and see what it is. that's wanting to be expressed inside of you. Some part of you is trying to get your attention. And because you're resisting that, it's showing up as this stuckness for you. But if you don't investigate what it is that's wanting to be expressed by some part of you, you're not gonna get on the flower road. You're not gonna see this path clearly. So there are lots of practices, Sagittarius. There's meditative practices, shamanic journeys, journaling. Um, there's oracle cards and tarot. There is a kind of internal mediumship where you speak for your own internal parts. There's keeping track of your dreams, um, noting synchronicities, noting what is it that attracts your attention when you think about a particular subject. But however you choose to explore this internal, these internal voices that are trying to speak to you, Sagittarius, you're going to have to do it before you can move. Before you will feel free, because once, once you know that,
then the sense of anchoring won't be so heavy. You won't feel this sense of falling into nowhere. So I wish you all of the very best, Sagittarius. I hope that you find a way to speak to yourself and to find the answers that you're looking for and that you then move on into an expansive space. And I'll see you next time, Sanj. So long. <laughs>